they're beautiful snakes. And I spend a lot of time outside, and in my entire life, just on my own, I've seen two indigos in the wild. There's a lot of different ways to catch snakes. One of the techniques is drift fences, and we've used those in the past. We haven't been really successful with the drift fences, and it's a lot of labor to get them set up. So what we've been doing at the C44 site where we're working with these snakes right now is uh, actually just looking at the habitat where they're most likely to be. Literally just look for the snake and if we see one, grab it. And you can see she just had her surgery this week. It's towards the back of the snake and they just make a little incision and put the transmitter in there. And then at the end of the study, once the transmitters are running low, we'll have them removed. Actually, it's right here. Just stitch them up just like a person. And we were fortunate enough to be uh, in the operating room while they were doing that, so it was a very neat experience. These snakes will use the gopher tortoise burrows, and in the past that, that hurt these snakes because people would gas the burrows. This is a while ago, and there's laws and uh, protection for that now, but uh, they're so closely related that the drop in gopher tortoise numbers also affected the snakes. So by protecting the snake, we'll also be protecting habitat for gopher tortoises and other organisms that use that habitat. That's one of the fun parts of the project. It really is like a treasure hunt. And, uh, you know, we get out there and it's like Christmas. We, we don't know where it's going to be and we go out and we look for it. And when we find it, we're, we're really excited about it. So every day we get to do that with one snake or the other as we get more snakes added yeah. to the study. Another aspect of this project we're uh, hoping to include is a genetics portion. Um, look at the population genetics of the species and see how they really are doing. We can see if, if they're in danger of, of possibly having their genetics so narrowed down that they're in trouble on that level. Right now there are two distinct lineages genetically of, uh, of indigo snakes in Florida. So it, it could be that after we do this study that we can say we have a whole new lineage here or possibly one that contributes to one of the other ones. And I really feel that this project is actually going to make a big difference. I mean, we're going to learn some things that we have no idea about at this point. And locally, that's going to help us with conservation efforts, but also on a global scale. I mean, we're going to be able to say something about uh, land use and land degradation, which is a, a, a big problem for animals all over the planet.